Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire dishwasher water inlet valve. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve is what lets the water into the dishwasher. The main reason to be changing it is if the solenoid failed and it's not letting water into the dishwasher, or if the body cracked and you're getting water on the floor. In order to get to the part, we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the access panels at the bottom of the dishwasher. Once you have the screws out, you can pull the panels off. With the kick blade out of the way, we can reach in and disconnect the electrical connection from the solenoid. Remember where the, the wires go, the pink was on the bottom, the white was on the top. Once you have it disconnected, if you have a hard copper line, you may want to get a towel and disconnect the water line right here. We have a flexible water line, so we're going to remove it after we pull the water lit valve out. Now we can use our 5 16 inch nut driver to remove the screws that hold it onto the frame. Once you have the screws out, you can lower the water valve down and turn it so we can get the pliers and move this clamp up so we can take the hose off. Once you have the clamp up, then you can reach up and pull the hose off. With the hose off, we can pull the water valve out. Now that we have the water valve out, we can put a towel underneath it so we can take the water line out just in case there's any water in there. We're going to use our 5 8 inch wrench to loosen up the water line and take it out. Once you have it loose, you just turn it by hand. Here's the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. We do have to take off this brass fitting and put it onto the new one. So we're going to take our 11 16 inch wrench and swap it over to the other one. Once you have it loose, you can just turn it by hand. Now we're going to clean out all the old sealant, out of the old threads. Now that we have the old sealant out, we can put some new tape on there or some pipe dope if you have it to seal it up so we get a good seal and we put it on the new water valve. Now when you tighten this down you want to make sure that you point it towards the back of the dishwasher so the hose hooks up to it just like when you took it off. Now we can put the new water inlet valve back in the dishwasher. If you have a solid copper line, you're obviously going to put the water connection on last. But we're going to tighten our flexible line down and use our 5 8 inch wrench to get a good seal. Now we can push the water valve back into the dishwasher and attach everything to it. Put the valve back underneath the dishwasher. We can reach up and grab that black hose and put it down onto the fitting and then put the clamp on it. Now that we have the clamp moved down, we can put the screws back in that mount the valve in place. We're going to use our 5 16 nut driver to put them back in. Then we can reconnect the wire connector. All you have to do is plug it back onto the terminals. With the wires connected, we can put the access panels back on. When you put this one on, there are a couple of holes on the top of it that you have to put on some pins up here to make sure it goes on correctly. So we're gonna put the smaller one on first, and then put this one on. Then look up inside to make sure it goes on the pins. 
Before you put the access panels on, you may want to run some water through the dishwasher to check for leaks. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.